Hey there everyone, welcome to a brand new installation that we like to call the unboxing series. Throughout this series, we will go through the whole experience of what you get when you purchase these grinders and coffee machines. Today, we're going to be unboxing the DS64 Gen 2. Let's take a look at the DS64 Gen 2 box. As you can see on the box, it will indicate specific details of the model which includes the item size, net rate, rated input, rated power, type of burr, the capacity of the grinder and the capacity of the blowing hopper. Now on the other side you can see that it will indicate the kind of color that your grinder comes in and also what kind of burr material that you're going to get. For the DS64 Gen 2 it comes in only two colors black and white. Now, notice the burr material. They both have the options for titanium when you look at the Gen 2 and the Gen 1. But the Gen 2 comes in two other stock burrs. It comes in DLC and also stainless steel. Unlike the previous Gen, that only came in 8 mil steel. The stainless steel burrs last a lot longer than the 8 mil steel with less rust buildup. The rust buildup usually happens through the RDT method to negate the static discharge of the coffee grinds on the exit chute for the Gen 1. But with the new plasma generator that comes with the Gen 2, it's a problem of the past. So there's no need for the RDT method for the Gen 2. If you want to check out the plasma generator and the new declumper that comes with the Gen 2, you can head over to the how to clean the exit chute of the Gen 2 video that we have in our channel. Now let's take a look at what's inside the box. Let's see what I can open this button. Now, the machine comes with a bunch of upgrades that fixes any gripe that you had with the Jet 1. First off, it comes with an anti popcorn lid that's built into its body that's easy to handle. The mounting forks fit perfectly for the dozing cup or a 58mm porter filter. There's also an indicator dial to help you precisely tell what grind setting you are on and it's easily adjustable for when you have to readjust the zero point of the grinder. So no need for any third-party replacements. The button is also placed on the side unlike the Gen 1 for better user experience. Which a lot of people have complained about when dealing with the Gen 1 of the DF64 grinder. And if you are really picky, the fonts on the collar are in your standard series, making sure it's not unnecessarily ugly. The grinder collar grooves are also far more durable and secure. The grooves are obvious enough for you to screw the collar on gently and can endure any rough handling. The bottom burst sits on top of a wave spring instead of the traditional springs to ensure a smoother grind process through its impressive 1400 RPM for single dosages. As we mentioned earlier, the decomper is no longer silicon based, as what many had to endure with the Gen 1. The stock burrs are made for newcomers to enjoy the ranges of espresso coffees to pour overs and can easily be swapped out to any burr of their preference by just following our how-to videos. Let us know what you think about the Gen 2 and share with us your experiences in the comment section below. Until next time.